Hi everybody, Dave Blinder from EXP Realty. Today we're going for a hike at Cataract Park in Long Valley, New Jersey. To reach Cataract Park, I take Route 46 to Nogwright Road, to Flocktown Road, to Schoolies Mountain Road. Let me give you a quick look at Schoolies Mountain Road in front of me. It's enough area to pull several cars off the road here in front of Cataract Park on Schoolies Mountain Road. And we can see the signage from Washington Township. So today's hike will be approximately one and a half miles out and back. Give you a look at the trail map on the kiosk. And the main attractions for today are going to be the waterfall and also the historic Young's Mine. Without any further ado, let's go hit the trails and explore. As we set out on today's hike, we will be following the red blaze heading towards the waterfalls. The terrain here at Cataract Park begins as fairly flat and level. There are some rocks here to cope with. As we advance, the trail should get increasingly difficult, however. So sturdy footwear is an essential here. I'm only a short walk in from the parking area, and already the red trail has taken a sharp right turn heading uphill. So there's a lot of tree roots here to contend with. My footwear of choice is generally low top hiking shoes. They protect my toes well enough, but they're also light that I don't feel weighed down. I wouldn't recommend sandals or flip flops or anything like that for this sort of hike. I'm now a short ways up the hill following the red trail. We can see there's a picnic table, good place to stop and rest your legs or possibly unpack a snack. At this point, we see the convergence of both the blue and the red trail. So I'll be following that blaze for the time being. trail has leveled out just a bit temporarily. Just beyond the picnic table, the blue and the red trail split. The blue trail will split off and head left going uphill. We're going to continue to bear right and straight, continuing following the red blaze to the waterfalls. I'm still forging along on the red trail. And at this point, we're going to begin ascending some significant altitude changes. For me, it's always important to bring a filled bottle of water with me on all these hikes and make sure your cell phone is fully charged as well. Yeah, quick look backwards. I'm still following the red trail and I'm still going up, up, up the mountain. At this point, we can see the red trail is taking a very, very sharp turn left and increasingly steep in this area. The trail here is also very narrow, it really resembles more of a fire break to me than an actual hiking trail. A lot of leaves on the ground in early November as well. Following that sharp left turn, now we have a very sharp right turn. And at this point, you'll have to contend with some steep, rocky steps as well. So I don't think this is a good hike to take after any recent rain. The trail could be very slippery. Coming up to another steep left turn off here on the red trail. Again, more rocky steps to deal with. Take your time. At 
and you don't want to tumble down this. After many rocky steps and many tight twists and turns heading uphill, the red trail is now finally beginning to level out. I also experienced a good deal of sweating making my way up here. At this point, the altitude on the red trail has all but leveled out, though there's still plenty of rocks on the trail. Now we see the orange trail would fork off to the left. We'll continue along the red trail, making our way to the waterfalls. This section of the red trail is increasingly rocky and very, very narrow as well. If you have a hiking stick, it could be a good idea to bring that along with you. If you look at what I'm contending with right now. And surprisingly, I haven't fallen yet and lost my balance. Hopefully it remains that way for today's hike. Just a little bit further down the red trail, we can see the yellow trail would remain straight heading that way. We are going to turn left and hear the waterfall off in the distance in front of me. So this descent is going to be very, very rocky. It's important to take your time here. A lot of twists and turns here on the red trail. A lot of leaves in the ground too, so it's difficult to see where you're actually stepping on. Following a short but steep and hard-fought hike, we're now reaching the main attraction of Cataract Park, the beautiful waterfalls. So there's a lot of photographic opportunities here around the waterfalls. It's actually a series of cascades, so there's a lot of great vantage points to do photography here at the waterfalls. And a few areas to sit on the rocks and uh, kick back and enjoy the sights and sounds of nature as well. I'm just tracing the flow of water downhill a little bit. Very treacherous to get to where I'm standing right now, but incredible views. You can see the water pouring over into the canyon. And actually flowing right through this splitting rock as well. After catching my breath for a few minutes and taking in the sights of the waterfalls, it's time to head back towards the car. So I'll be continuing along on the red trail back the way I came. We're at the juncture now where the yellow trail would fork off to the left. I believe that leads to a separate parking area, so that's definitely not the direction I'm going in. I'm making a right from the waterfalls back along the red trail. Even the waterfalls behind me for now. Up until this point, I've remained on the red trail, heading back the way I came from. But at this point, I'm going to take a diversion onto the Orange Blaze and make my way to explore the mine at Cataract Park. After a very short walk down the orange trail, off of the red trail, I'm now standing directly above the mine entrance. Let's zoom in for a closer look into the subterranean realm. 
it's important to take a lot of precautions in areas like this. There can be a lot of hazards, uh, a lot of potential for landslides, erosion, cave-ins, maybe toxic gases and flooding inside a mine entrance. Definitely would not recommend going inside or anything like that. It's also quite easily to disturb a slumbering bear or a bunch of bats, and that might not end up too pretty either. So best enjoyed from outside and from a distance. I'm still standing on flat ground, safely outside the mine entrance. I want to give you one final view of the mine before we continue on our hike today. So here's a look deeper in the mine. Maybe where some brave entrepreneurs hope to strike it rich in veins of iron during decades gone by. As we leave the mine behind, that's the orange trail coming down the hillside from the red trail, the direction we came from. I'm going to continue on the orange trail this way, making my way towards the blue trail and back towards the car. Following another short section of the orange trail, the blaze ends now. And it could be easy to miss. There's a fallen sign here on the ground saying the blue blaze this direction would lead us to a lower section of the waterfalls. Unfortunately for me, it is daylight savings time right now, so I don't have a whole lot of time. I'm going to take the blue blaze back up the hill to reunite with the red trail. So kind of making a left, cutting back up the hillside a little bit here. I am still descending the blue blaze, heading towards Schoolie Mountain Road and back towards my car. Again, I'm moving away from the waterfalls, which would be that direction on the blue blaze. So the terrain, this section of the blue trail is a little steep. And there's not a whole lot of tread on the ground either. So I'm choosing my steps very, very cautiously here. Give you a look downwards where I'm heading. And I can hear the traffic off in the distance on Schoolies Mountain Road, so I know I'm getting close to my car now. If you hear water, you're heading away from your car here at Cataract Park. Following somewhat of a descent on the Blue Trail, I've arrived safely back at the confluence of the Blue and the Red Trails, and I can see my car below, so it should be pretty smooth sailing from here. If you'd like to plan your hike at Cataract Park, you can visit the link in the description. If you have any questions on New Jersey parks, New Jersey living, or New Jersey real estate, let me know. If you have the opportunity to like, subscribe, and share my content, that really helps me out. Thanks, and I'll see you in my next video.